up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl silver monique before we get into this diy video make sure you go ahead and subscribe to your girl's channel and also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay split yeah that's that's what we're gonna do i got the extra large eyelets and then i also need the eyelet tools this is all they have they do not have the smaller eyelids up here um and so this is what we're working with all right y'all so the first thing that i did was take both of my sweatshirts i folded them in half and then i cut straight down the middle So now I'm done cutting out half of both sweatshirts. Next step I did was to sew the back side of the sweatshirt and I just took both halves and placed them right sides together and then sewed using about a half an inch seam allowance and using a straight stitch. Once you are finished, this is what it should look like. The next step I did was take the front side of the sweatshirt and I folded it inside about two inches. I had placed one of the eyelets on top just to make sure that it was enough room on both sides. And then once I figured that I had enough room, I went ahead and placed my pins so that I can make sure that it stays once I start to sew. And then after that, I took it to my sewing machine, did a straight stitch along the edge. Alright, so now that that is done, the next step I did was place where I wanted my eyelets to be on the sweatshirt and I decided to place them about two inches apart and then once marking it up with the chalk, I went ahead and took the scissors and made the holes. And to make sure that both sides were lined up, I made sure that I took the other side and placed them close together and then I marked it up making sure that they were both lined up correctly.
Next up is to add the eyelets onto the sweatshirt. There's instructions on how to do this on the eyelet toolkit and you will need a hard surface like the floor. Don't do this on the rug. So if you have like hardwood floor and actually I had to go outside because it was really loud using this and hammering everything down inside the house, but it all worked out. Next step was for me to string up or tie up the sweatshirt and I found this cotton cord at Walmart that I was going to use because it was thick and it filled in the holes pretty well but it was actually like shedding and getting all over the sweatshirt and it was just honestly just a little too thick. Walmart didn't have any white shoestring, thick shoestring that I can use. I decided to put the string to the side for now and focus on the arm. I wanted to add a little bit more to the arms to give it a much more baggier look and so I took the leftover fabric um, to help me complete this look and I will give you guys the exact measurements on where I cut and how much of the arm that I cut on my sweatshirt. Next, I went ahead and took the leftover fabric and cut out the arm, cutting along the seam. Now I'm just using the patterns from my first arm and I'm using this as a reference to know exactly where to cut out for my second arm. And again, I'm going to take the leftover fabric and I'm going to cut out the arm part, cutting close to the seam. And once everything was cut out, I took it to my sewing machine, sewing at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So this is what it should look like once you're done. All right now, so let's get into the shorts. So I decided to grab the near shorts next to me, which were the spandex shorts as an outline to make my shorts. And outlining, I used about a half an inch seam allowance. I also made the mistake of not folding the fabric in half, like putting the right sides together and cutting out two pieces at once so that I can have one side being just gray and the other side being just black. Instead, I opened up the fabric and cut out the pieces separately, which caused the fabric to not be one side one color and the other side another color. You will see later on in the video what I'm talking about. So if you decide to use up the extra fabric and wanna make some shorts out of it, make sure that you just go ahead and fold the fabric in half and cut two pieces out rather than doing it one by one. Now I place my cut up pieces on the extra leftover fabric, making sure that the right sides are touching before cutting out the fabric.
Once everything was cut out, I took it to my sewing machine using a zigzag stitch. After sewing the inside of each one, I went ahead and placed the front and the back of the shorts right sides together and sewed the crotch area as well as the outside to finish it up. Alright, now let's get into this final look. So I am loving this. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And always, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you all on the next video.